Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and this is Andy245, and I'm going to take you through how to set up your scene for animation for the flower sack. So we've got to go into Preferences. We can go into Windows and Settings, Preferences, Preferences. And the first thing we want to do is go to Animation. And in here, we can set the Auto Key on if you'd like. Um, a lot of people, it's a preference, what you want to do. And we'll go ahead and turn it on so you can get a feel for it. So let's turn that on. You can also turn it on down here at the very lower part of your UI, right-hand corner, bottom right-hand corner. And you can see right there, I'm circling it. All right, so you can turn the auto key on. And we're going to go to non-weighted tangents. We're going to make sure that is weighted tangents. And click on, always click on save. But we're going to go to the time slider, make sure that's set up. Right now it's playing as fast as your video card can run, so we're going to go ahead and click on that and check and click on 24 frames per second times 1. Everything else looks good. I think we want to make this 60 frames. We want to give ourselves lots of time here to create some animation. So depending on how long you're in it, we're just going to go up and down, jump up and down. Maybe give it a little personality so um, I think that's good now the jump up and down you won't have a whole lot of personality um, I'm just looking at mechanics uh, for the jump up and down uh, but the second one you're gonna be doing you need to show a lot more character and and personality so right now we're just gonna do the jump up and down and click on save so everything should be set up for your preferences now we're gonna go to setting up a time code in the right hand corner so when the, you turn it in I, I'll be able to follow and critique it um, and so we're gonna go to display heads up display go down to scene time code click on that you can see that when we play our animation the time code will be right here so I can critique it's it's easier for me to critique with the time code showing so when I stop it I can say well it a time code 23 you need to do this this and this okay so that has to be in there um, and I will be grading that that'll be in the grading rubric so make sure you get that in there and that is it I think we got everything ready of course you guys can add uh, some other things like ambient occlusion to kind of give it more depth uh, to do that you go to screen space ambient occlusion click on that and I think we've got it enabled. So, um, of course, you can kind of see that when you move it up and down. So this just, just gives you, it grounds your character. And you can add a little bit to it. Um, I would make sure the samples are the highest. And you can just play around with that. However you want to set it is up to you. Okay, I just like to add a little bit to it. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click that off. And it looks like you're all set to animate the character. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.